Welcome back to another episode of Max Level Video Games, where me, Shane, show you guys the ins, the outs, and all about some owning your own retro video game store. Consoles that need to be tested, but this Super Nintendo is in rough shape, but... The bigger, it's not really an issue. The AC power right here is broken, which we have a couple of parts for it. But even if that is an issue, it still has power. You can still use it as long as the pins in here touch the middle compartment, it actually has power. So let's hook it up to AV. See if I can get KI to at least load up. Nothing. Clean it up. Some isopropyl alcohol. Clean these pins in here. See if we can get anything in the picture department. Uh, we got no audio video on Super Nintendo. That's a no-go. Or something like this, anyways, it's in pretty rough shape, but if it worked, we could have shell swapped it. Because I have a no A or a working Super Nintendo right here. So, we know the game works. I'm going to try it one more time. Clean the AV port this time. Nothing. Okay. So another Super Nintendo with no AV out, which sucks. So luckily we didn't pay anything for the Super Nintendo. Maybe we can get lucky and just clean the pins underneath it. But at this point, we have other stuff to do. It's going to be okay though. We'll be fine. Essentially, we got plenty of Super Nintendos in stock, so one isn't going to do anything. And honestly, I got way more to do. I literally have stacks on stacks of games to get in to sell. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get these games in the system in stock so we can sell them to you guys. All right, so I just tried Yonoid. That's what we had going out there on the NES last week, and honestly, it's a four. Okay, here's why. One, a sliver of jump and if it touches the water you're dead two you restart the, the level all right th th it, i will you know what maybe a five because it does have specials it's not a horrible horrible gameplay um it's just i don't like dying and then having to restart a whole level especially at the end and i don't like that a, a pixel worth of water kills you oh when, when <laughs> right now today this month um we got so much going on and our budget is so small when you don't make enough money what do you do what do you do when your business doesn't make enough money to cover the expenses how do you deal with it well we're gonna be ebaying as much as we possibly can you think dang shane with that extra day you guys spend more money right actually no it helps us because each person here in the shop gets at least two days off in a row which does help hopefully mel and john feel you know a little more relaxed it's a little bit easier on them that's one of the biggest things is just making sure that the job is fun you're not bored and you know it's not stressful so today john's supposed to come in in the next uh well now john's got a minute late on it's on it's it's okay we'll get over it it's late 
What's up? How are you? Well, you doing? made it. He just figured out how to uh, fix PS3 controllers, which maybe, maybe he would do part of his video for the other channel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe so that's a good, idea. that's a good quick short. Um, that's up to him, though. That's his channel. I edited your first video, though. You're welcome. You suck. Oh, the lady. Yeah, you need some work. You need some work. I, I'll let you watch the video. Have fun watching the video. There may be a lot of captions in between some places, <laughs> but it's up to you to... Dude, that's up to you. Got a new addition. This is Charmander's second in command. This is our, I don't know. This is Charmander's bodyguard, all right? So the HR has its own bodyguard because I don't trust Mel and John to not jump the HR. I think John's, John is definitely jealous of our new addition. Quite a bit. Quite yeah, a bit. he tried to steal him at least three times already. You want to see three times is undercut. You want to see you want to see our HR as bodyguard three times. Boom! Look at him. We got a little Squirtle Squad. John, John, you know John's favorite. I mean, he got the the tats. Squirtle, and, Squirtle and the Blastoise. He saw this, and I told him he was gonna be jealous of him. But we got Squirtle Squad, baby. So HR's bodyguard. Don't don't mess with him. But he's cool. He is cool. Um, so our 3D printer guys for the last six months have ghosted me. Tell me what was going on. They had no clue. I thought, okay, maybe they're just super busy. They got too much to do, which they do. A couple days later, out of nowhere, I get a text from Frank. Frank, if you even watch the YouTube videos, thank you, Frank. We appreciate it. But he, had, he didn't tell me anything that he's been working on this thing for the last six months. Hits us up and say, hey, Squirtle's done. I was like, what? I... Okay. Oh, so I, I, he looks amazing. And we got two more starters to get into the shop. They want to build me a Charizard, but I don't want one. Dude. I don't need a life-size Charizard. I need don't. Charizard. Why? Because Derpy Charizard, life-size Charizard. They <laughs> all go together, you know? Is that what we do? We put Charizard in front of all the little Charizards? Yeah. Uh, no. He's like eight feet tall. No, he's only five, six, five something. Yeah, Charizard's not very tall. No, Charizard, life size Charizard's about as tall as me. Charmander and Squirtle are life size. Yeah. He's only five, seven. Like, he's not very tall. So, a life size Charizard isn't that. Many. His wingspan is huge. <laughs> his wingspan, I think it's bigger than his. I think it's about the same, or if not bigger than his body. So, the wings would have to be. The bad. wings, again, are like, it's like putting me sideways and fitting it somewhere in here. Yeah, it'd be cool. It's not realistic. I mean, I would love to see one. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen one. Have you seen a 3D printed life-size Charizard? No. I don't I think I've ever seen, seen one. 3D life-size starters until, <laughs> until here. They, this would be cool. I mean, there's a Gengar that's like huge as well. There, there's a bunch of them. Gengar they, would be cool. They would be, but we need a bigger space for that. Thank you, I appreciate it. He's been working on that for the last six months and I didn't even know about it. It surprised the hell out of me. Oh, we definitely got some work cut out from us. We got we got the security of our HR, so you can't mess with them, though. You can't mess with them. Squirtle. You know what this is? Yeah, this is one of your returns. I'll open it up, take a look. There's nothing in here. No, that's not true. There is something in there. Let's see. Question is, is it ours? See the security ticker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See the sticker. Um, does it look like it's been open? Yep. <laughs> that whole security sticker has a void on it. I'll call on that. <sighs> it looks so, like he pulled it off and then tried to put it back. Um, let's go check it out. See what's going on. Oh, what's going on with this PS4 controller? Somehow he destroyed the charge port on it. I had to force the cord in there right now. Oh, the, the charge port's bonked, huh? Oh, jeez. Do you think it's been swapped? So what's... I don't see anything. So what are you going to do about this situation? Mm, what, what What is going on? Mm. Well, essentially put, uh, they don't get their money back. So we have these set in place for a reason, so people don't mess with the controllers what we spent time, money, and energy on trying to steal parts and pieces to fix theirs. It'd probably be better if you guys just hit us up. MaxLittleVideoGames.com, there's a chat right down below. See if we can help you guys get what you need, do what you need, 
cheaply and well so you guys don't have to worry about stealing other people's parts and pieces jordan how dare you the way you're blocked yeah that's how it works the <laughs>